The Syrian army and its allies continue active efforts to hunt down and neutralize ISIS cells in the Homs de Azor desert. In a recent series of raids, government forces eliminated at least eight ISIS members that were involved in recent attacks on civilian and military columns moving between the towns of Koba Jeb and El Shula. Three pickup trucks armed with machine guns were also destroyed. The Russian Aerospace Forces also deployed attack helicopters to support the security operations of the Syrian army. The very same helicopters have been involved in providing security for important columns moving along the Homs Deir Izor Highway. On top of this, Russian warplanes carried out a few dozen strikes on ISIS targets across the region. Pro-government forces argue that now the highway is fully secured. However, it's unlikely that the ISIS threat will be fully neutralized anytime soon. On December 30th, at least 25 people were killed when ISIS cells ambushed a bus near Koba Jep on the M20. On January 24th, a similar attack left three people dead near El Shula. The increase of ISIS attacks took place amid tensions between the Syrian army and the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces in El Hasaka and El Kamishili. The SDF security unit, ISAEISH, is seeking to limit the freedom of movement of Syrian personnel and pro-government militias in these areas. These attempts have faced a strong resistance from the local Arab population that does not support the pro-US and separatist posture of the Kurdish leaders. Damascus and the Kurdish leadership are allegedly involved in negotiations to settle the existing issues. Nonetheless, the SDF is not hurrying up to demonstrate any kind of constructive approach. It seems that the leaders of the Syrian Kurds will find out that they are also Syrians and should cooperate with Damascus to receive protection before the Turkish army once again launches an advance on SDF positions.